Hi everyone, uh, we are going to see today the PN junction characteristics that is forward bias. To know about the forward bias characteristics, we are going to connect uh, the diode in a small circuit. So here I am taking the diode to measure the current we are going to add an ammeter in series and a voltmeter in parallel with your diode and we are going to add a resistor in series with the diode to uh, limit the current now the complete circuit we are going to give it to a now we are going to uh, give this complete circuit to a variable voltage source so here uh, the diode whatever I am using is IN4007 and a 1 kilo ohm resistor and you can see here the uh, terminal representations so this is how the circuit look like in the forward bias condition now we will implement the same circuit on the breadboard and we will observe the current and voltage how it varies when I vary the voltage source Now we are going to practically implement the PN junction diode forward bias characteristics. For that, I am going to use one digital panel meter of 0 to 20 milliamps ammeter and one 0 to 20 volts uh, volt meter which has to be connected in parallel to the diode. And I am using a dual channel regulator power supply to give the variable voltage uh, to the input. Now let us proceed with the connections. Now. We will start the connection from the positive supply of your uh, regulator power supply. The positive supply has to be given to the positive of your ammeter. For that, I am taking the positive uh, supply and adding the positive supply on the breadboard. And the positive terminal, the positive terminal of your milliammeter, I am connect connecting it to your positive supply of your dual uh, regulator power supply. And uh, the negative. I am giving it to the diode and once it is given to the diode the negative end of the diode is given to the 1 kilo ohm resistor so I am taking 1 kilo ohm resistor and connecting the other end to the negative the other end is connected to the negative of your power supply now connect the old meter in parallel to the diode so this is how we are going to uh, connect the components according to the given circuit now let us proceed with the uh, experiment uh, make sure that all the connections are ready and now switch on the circuitry so make sure that all the meters are showing zero and always keep the current limit in the maximum position on your dual uh, channel regulator power supply and keep the voltage in the minimum position and for fine tuning use the voltage fine button now vary the voltage in 0.2 volts and observe the reading on the ammeter as well as the old meter initially whenever we are varying the voltage uh, slowly when we are increasing the current will be always showing a zero and the voltage will be increased now let us observe uh, that practically now I am increasing the voltage please observe here I am increasing the voltage 0.2 you can see that the old meter reading is increasing but the ammeter reading is zero still I am increasing again there is an increase in the voltmeter 
but there is a small uh, increase in your ammeter that means the voltage the cutting we have crossed the cutting voltage so if we are going on increasing the voltage automatically the voltmeter as well as the volt uh, the current uh, in the ammeter will also increase so in steps of point 2 we are going on uh, uh, taking the readings and once we tab uh, tabulate the readings we can see that the current will be increasing exponentially and the voltage will become constant at a particular point now after taking the readings if you observe and if you plot the graph as it is forward by us if you take the V on your X axis and I on your Y axis the characteristics will increase exponentially and at a particular point the voltage will become constant and this region we are calling it as cutting uh, sorry at that voltage what we are calling it the point at which the voltage is becoming constant is called as cutting voltage at this particular point the current increases exponentially